So you have a product or an idea or a cause and you want to build a website. Well, how do you do that? Well, I'm going to tell you. Most people probably think that a website exists somewhere in the ether, like a cloud floating above you, but it actually just lives on a computer. And a host is the person who owns the computer that your site lives on. A great host that we use a lot is called WordPress Engine. And WordPress Engine is what we call a managed host versus other hosts that are non-managed, like GoDaddy, which you may have heard of. Um, a managed host is kind of like living in an apartment in a building with a live-in super. They'll fix your problems a lot more quickly than if you lived in a building where the super lived 10 blocks away. Basically, websites need a lot of maintenance, updates, upgrades, fixing things. The managed host take care, takes care of most of that. WordPress is very user friendly because someone with no technology background can use it and put up an entire website. And they can put up their blog, an events page, an about us page. But it's also open source so that if you do have a knowledge and want to go in and modify the code behind the site, you can. You can customize anything about WordPress that you want, which is why it's great. Um, if you don't want that same kind of flexibility, you can go with a host uh, such as Squarespace. Squarespace is great because it comes with a lot of design templates straight out of the box that frankly look great, in my opinion. Um, but most people will probably agree with me. It's a great way to build a site that looks great, that doesn't require a lot of effort. If you do want to pay more, you could, there's a higher developer level um, you pay per month to have access to the console where you can actually inject custom code to really customize the site. That would uh, require hiring a developer, which can be pricey. But this isn't a video about how to build an expensive website, so let's jump into the next section, which is how to find a developer for not a lot of money. The first one is called Rent-A-Coder, and another is called Odesk. These are both websites where developers from around the world, literally around the world, will post themselves and offer their services along with an hourly rate. And you can get in contact with them with a general idea of what you want to do, and they'll come back to you with a projected um, budget and time frame. We've used both of these websites, and they're, they're great. And we've come across some really excellent people who work using them. So let's say you want to communicate with people beyond your website. This could be through a newsletter, um, through asking people for money, fundraising, some people would call it, or uh, public events. Uh, next, I'm going to show you some great ways to do that. Great service for a newsletter communication that we use is called MailChimp. Um, really friendly interface, easy to use, really easy to integrate with a platform such as uh, WordPress or Squarespace. If you ever want to host public events or screenings or galas, anything like that, you can use a service called Eventbrite to integrate with your website to allow people to purchase tickets and sign up for information about the event. Uh, it's called Eventbrite. So that was how to build a website on a budget. Um, please subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, uh, feel free to post them below or get in touch with us. Uh, check out our next video.